Most people know about the need for blood donations when it comes to major catastrophes and emergency situations, but some might not realize just how great of an impact they have on everyday situations. I sat down with registered nurse Judy Feeney at the Sandra and Malcolm Berman Cancer Institute at GBMC to learn about how blood transfusions are used to help combat side effects of some cancers and the treatments used to fight them. We've been talking about giving blood and the importance of giving blood. You're actually on the other end of the spectrum, correct? I am. Professionally, I'm an RN here at GBMC in the Infusion Center where we frequently transfuse our patients. Um, personally, I'm a longtime Red Cross blood donor. Okay. So I see both sides of the spectrum. Um, from, a, from a clinic perspective here, we do a lot of transfusions on uh, cancer patients predominantly, not solely, but predominantly. That's the source of the anemia, is the cancer or their treatment. It's blood going in instead of coming out. Right. Right, so we call that transfusing. All of our physicians are oncologists and hematologists. So that allows them to um, diagnose um, anemia and to make decisions as to whether red blood cell replacement is necessary or not. Um, with that being said, um, the patient then has to have what we say is a type and cross match done prior to each blood transfusion, which gives the blood bank some pretty specific information to make sure that the transfusion blood that's going to be given to the patient is a good match for that patient. And everybody knows how what giving blood is like, what happens there, or they should. Uh, is there any difference when the blood is going in? The difference is time. It, a unit of blood at the Red Cross is donated 15 minutes or 20 minutes or you know, some very short period of time transfusing blood based on the patient's heart rate and their vital signs and their blood pressure can take two hours, um, has to, you know, can take as long as four, but that's a little unusual. And they can leave immediately or? Yeah, pretty much. We do, we do observe them for 30 minutes after the blood is finished and take another set of vital signs, um, and then they're free to go. No little cup of Gatorade and a cookie? We do have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, so does, so does the donor center. There you go. We have cookies too. You're absolutely right. <laughs> okay. And I guess we've been laughing at things, but, but how important Oh. to these patients is a blood transfusion. Absolutely critical. We, we monitor, of course, someone that we know that's going through cancer treatment, we monitor their blood work very frequently. Okay. Um, so we generally catch things like anemia before they become dangerously low. Um, but for many of those patients, even though it wouldn't be a critical result, um, they're not eating well, their energy is down, they're fatigued, they're many times not participating in their family or friends' activities and events. Um, once they get that blood, usually within a day or two, they're feeling much, much better. What's the greatest misconception about blood transfusions that you know of? I, I think many people who have not been involved in being a Red Cross blood donor themselves mm -hmm. don't realize the degree of scrutiny that's involved. I don't think many people realize how cautiously and carefully that blood is looked at for viruses and infection. Um, prior to it being accepted to be a donor unit mm -hmm. when it's sent to our blood bank at our hospital or any hospital mm -hmm. um, They also do a complete set of testing. So it's really very thoroughly looked at before it's transfused How urgent is the need for anyone who can donate blood to do so? Well, there's there's no Manufactured replacement for human blood is there? So the need for the blood donation is always very great. Mm -hmm. But I think the main thing in my mind is the benefit that I see. So um, we see people that you know, otherwise would, would not be um, having the same quality and the same enjoyment of their life um, walking around anemic. Um, so it's, it's, very, it's very rewarding once they get blood. And we generally, many of our patients, we see back again in a week or 10 days because they're coming back in for treatment. And that's always exciting to see. And they're very, they're very joyous in sharing that. Like, I got that blood 10 days ago and it's made such a difference. I feel so much better. Um, so it's nice to see that, mm -hmm. you know, spark back and that enjoyment of life. So the next time a blood drive comes to GBMC, just remember, 
you'll not only be saving someone's life, but you'll also be helping a neighbor who's battling cancer. A small act with a big consequence. And be sure to save me a cookie. For Greater Living, I'm Don Scott.